Hi there, in this quick video we'll be taking a look at this Ferbatim VI550 S3 SSD. That's a long name for an SSD. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. So this bring, uh, brings back nice memories from back in the day when I used uh, a lot of Ferbatim floppy drives. Uh, time flies. Anyway, it's the 512 uh, gigs SATA 3, 2.5 inch drive, uh, uh, obviously, 7 millimeters thick. These are the read and write speeds. If you want to see more info, feel free to pause at any time. Hopefully you can read everything in here. And uh, yeah, let's get into this box and uh, get to the drive itself. Ooh, colored tape. Normally tape used like this, it's uh, fully transparent. Ferbatim decided to use a uh, colored one. What can I say? Interesting choice. Doesn't make a difference at all. <laughs> But anyway, in interesting choice. Get to the drive out. I think we also have some sort of uh, manual, although I I couldn't really imagine what for. And it's stuck in there in the, the box. Great. Box is empty now. Quick installation guide. Eh, why not? I never re uh, read stuff like this because it's quite obvious but anyway so for laptop for desktop <laughs> if you want to read this precautions technical support and nothing on the other side so uh, these are the guide uh, the installation guide Okay, <laughs> yeah, let's get a drive out of there. As 99% of SSDs, uh, it's plastic. Oh, this one is actually sealed. I haven't seen lots of seals on SSDs, to, to tell you the truth. I'm not used to seeing it, and my daughter's arguing in the background. So, uh, yeah. Let's put this in place of the old drive itself. Just slide it in here. So we are testing the SSD now, first impression, really really good speeds, I really like this, so it was uh, from the speed point of view a really good purchase. Let's just let it wait and see also the write speeds, but the read speeds are really good. Now these are really nice speeds. From the SSDs that I worked with lately, this seems to be one of the better ones. Okay, I like this. So yeah, all that's left now for this laptop to be used and you can ask me in the comments over time if this SSD creates any sort of issues or not but from what I, what I see until now, yeah, I can recommend it. Really cheap and uh, good speeds. And overall the system is much, 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 much snappier with it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.